uh, what are the some challenges that uh, you know peop the journalists or the med the news media owners they are not willing to uh, look into uh, the first challenge i would say uh, and which i would have brief uh, uh, dwell upon briefly because it's it's a bit from the first principles is because i think the journalists have to or the media news media organizations have to redefine what they are doing you know i mean it's, it's they think that they are into some public service or they think they are you know journalism has to be redefined what what exactly are you doing uh, you know one of my uh, controversial tweets is that and i i, I really believe that uh, journalism is nothing but politics you know pol it's it's politics without loyalty to a political party so you are actually doing politics you know you, you suddenly you say that you are into public service uh, one one is that they have to be honest you know last night i was talking and uh, and I, and i said that i would be talking about media and the challenges they said that why don't you talk about media bias now i personally believe that there is nothing i mean there is media bias is something that the, the the consumers and and as well as the producers have to be very honest about the the bias simply cannot be done away it 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 will it will be there for example if there is a new shopping mall c coming over there now is it in public interest or not how will it what will what will define it obviously the kind of ideology you believe in that also goes into defining so so as a journalist you might say you might think that i'm doing public service but somewhere you are doing you know a little bit of ideological activism politics so that's one thing however i would want to uh, go to the business part of it where media is facing the biggest uh, challenge that's that's one thing that i lived upon journalists to uh, to believe that they should be honest about what they are doing they should they should kind of reimagine journalism are they are they doing uh, reporting are they doing opinions or are they doing something research and uh, you know something like say an equity research company they are doing so first they have to redefine what they are doing and uh, uh, you know what products they are selling anyway uh, uh, as i said i would want to stick to the business point of view and how it's getting impacted by the technology when you know journalism started or news media started with print now the now the benefit and and the whole business model has evolved from there and it's still largely followed uh, uh, the same model is being followed only the technologies have been the platforms have become different you have uh, you have become tv journalism now you have digital journalism now in print what used to happen is that news in a way the news product had a monopoly you know there is no other content that you can get in a printed paper format daily you know you cannot have you, you simply cannot imagine that you you are you would subscribe to a daily joke pamphlet right you cannot have anything else except news in a daily printed format now that allowed the news media to define the dynamics of uh, to define the business you know so they obviously they uh, uh, they also went into uh, uh, the business of selling advertising but at, it, it, they they had the monopoly they knew that okay this x is the cost of my uh, news gathering or uh, my hr cost y is the my printing cost and to recover this uh, i have this much of a revenue and this should be my ad rate if i am selling this this uh, space of ad this should be by ad rate which will give me this this much of margin and that became the uh, and, and and that's how uh, you know any businesses are done that you you figure out what your costs are and accordingly you plan a revenue strategy now the biggest struggle uh, that the news media is having is that now it's slowly getting into the platforms because this is this is something a mindset this is a, a business model that the print gave you now when you go to television suddenly on tv you have various kind of content that that's that's are already being consumed that's are perhaps fitter for television uh however on on tv also as i to, uh, as i told earlier because tv the monopoly still remained you need a license and all that so the tv journalism in a way also survived because of that however if you see the content was impacted a lot on tv when uh, what you see uh, you know uh, before news went on to tv what were the most popular kind of content you will have a sas bahu serial you will have a live telecast of cricket matches or you would have uh, you know this now, now suddenly the same formats impacted uh, journalism when it went on to television so you have uh, sas bahu fights you know so politicians fighting so that that became more important than say reporting 
you 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 start uh, airing live telecast of political speeches so that becomes a, you know like a cricket match uh, being telecast live so whatever is the popular content over here they started uh, uh, impacting the journalism uh, when it went on to television now content was impacted however the business was not that greatly impacted because television still was to be impacted by the disruptions now we are seeing it with say uh, at a netflix coming in tv industry is also also being shaken up so now tv now tv journalism will also get uh, will get shaken up so and, and these things are something that the media people are not realizing uh, and now after television when it comes to digital the problems are huge we are absolutely uh, everyone everyone says that digital is the future every news media is trying to get into digital but frankly no one is sure in which direction people are moving in, uh, moving because now now apply the same logic onto onto digital one the biggest problem on digital is that when when internet started it started with a belief that information and 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 knowledge has to be free so so almost instantly your subscription model gets goes for a toss because you know currently you were charging for uh, uh, although many of the tv channels were also free to air but you were charging something at at least the paper also had a, a had a price suddenly you you have to ask people to pay up for news that's very uh, you know it's it's counterintuitive on 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 digital where everything is supposed to be free although new york times these days is showing that they are growing digitally we also in swarajya we are also seeing that uh, subscriptions are uh, going up however it's not uh, good enough for any any media organization to uh, that the, the subscription money that that's coming to sustain the business now uh, coming to that thing that now how does it impact the uh, you, you know what are the future content formats what is what is the business in which uh, news media can e evolve you have to look on to the uh, on, on the digital front you have to see just just like we saw that how tv how the popular content or tv impacted journalism what is the popular formats or the popular kind of stuff on digital and how it can impact uh, uh, journalism now so in a way you have already seen when when you see buzzfeed and all that it's what is it it's it's basically a facebook impacting journalism right so so buzzfeed doesn't only their writers don't only just imagine that okay if i if i come up with a 10 uh, uh, cool kittens and put it over there it will go viral they actually have a very good algorithmic and data analysis uh, you, you know uh, tools tools with them which is very similar to facebook algorithm so so when they started so it's so when you see buzzfeed it's nothing but facebook impacting journalism now now when when i said that okay i i want uh, you people also to think what could be the next big news thing in fact just go to an apple store or go to a google store and see what are the top apps you know just like just like imagine that when some someone was coming up with tv at a tv channel he would go that okay what are the top trp grossing programs and he would see okay there is a sas bahu thing that is grossing there is a tv uh, live t uh, cricket match that is uh, hi highest grossing so he would think that okay just like uh, uh, let me make these people fight also just like sas bahu so he would come up with a fighting kind of a, a format now the same thing has to be thought here on digitally which i think very few people are thinking that okay it, uh, indirectly buzzfeed has already done it they have seen that okay on the top charts you have facebook so you have a buzzfeed now you have a whatsapp you know or you have a uh, maybe a game or you have an uber so how how, how do, do how do these go on to you know match with uh, uh, with news media that's that's something uh, on product uh, related uh, one has uh, you know that challenge is there now to to give you an example what what can come up in future is that jeff bezos i do uh, the, the uh, he he bought uh, washington post now he, now he is he is one of the guys who is actually thinking in these terms so like he would go and see okay on, on the top charts you have a say a game so he's thinking of uh, you know say matching uh, a farmville and the news or something you know maybe a very basic game farmville obviously and these are very complex games so so he suggested uh, to his uh, uh, editors that let's do this that okay we we are coming up with uh, very opinionated pieces 
uh, so, which some of which are say catering to the left uh, audience, uh, to the right wing audience. So suppose there is an opinionated piece which say caters to the left wing audience. Now a right wing guy reads that. He doesn't like it. He simply pays, you know, just like you buy coins in a temple run or anything, he pays five cents. And what happens is that every vowel in the article, it goes away. So the next person, so, the, so, so, so uh, essentially he is making that the next person who comes to the website, he is unable to read the, the article. Uh, now uh, imagine that, okay, this left wing guy, he has shared this Washington Post article on his news feed saying that, okay, I completely agree with this. And his uh, friend who is, say, another left leaning guy, he clicks it. And he clicks it after a right winger has paid five cents and removed all the vowels. So he is unable to read it. But since his friend has recommended it, he wants to read it. So he has to pay five cents again to bring back the vowels. You know? And uh, so, so this is something, you know, it's, it's competitive gaming as well as news being uh, joined together. I, I thought this, this was a wonderful idea. Uh, but obviously, the, the editors, the journalists, they thought that, OK, this is, this is something we are not going to do. But imagine how much money it could have generated. And I believe this, these are the kind of things that we are going to see, uh, where, where a game is, is married to a news. Maybe just think about how, how a WhatsApp is being married to a news. Can there be, a, say, a, a simple chat thing? And, and, and people are trying that some bots kind of a thing that, OK, you, you, you just uh, you know, send a message called latest score. And it sends you back, uh, back what is the latest news, uh, which is you know like WhatsApp and news being merged. In the same way, what could be the next thing? What can Uber and journalism being uh, can be merged? In fact, I was thinking of this. Why can't it be so? Uh, why can't there be a reporter on hire kind of a platform? You know, just just like a normal taxi. Uh, you, you know, there there used to be uh, taxis. Uh, 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 companies, and suddenly Uber came. They they didn't have any uh, taxi drivers on hire. They didn't own any taxi. Uh, so, so so imagine a uh, traditional uh, uh, taxi company as your traditional news source and a PTI and an and, and an ANI. And suddenly, can an Uber version of a PTI or ANI happen? Right. So the, these are some of the things I believe uh, uh, would be, you know, the, these are some of the ideas I believe that, uh, that will excite uh, this future of, uh, you know, news media. Unfortunately, they are still, uh, you, you know, the people who are either on the uh, business side or on the editorial side, they're still stuck with, uh, you know, the old, old business model. I, I recently met someone who said that, okay, you know, this is not going to work. So, so the state has to fund journalism. You know, they, they are still into those old things that uh, how, how to get, uh, obviously you have demonetization being blamed for it, uh, which, is, which is ridiculous. I mean, print is perhaps going to die. Nobody can save it. I mean, it's, we, we were, uh, I mean, uh, Indian newspapers were rather lucky to have survived till, uh, till here. Uh, if, if you look at the early 2000s in, in US, hundreds of newspapers have been closed. And uh, so this was something that was waiting to happen in India as well. We obviously, we cannot uh, compare ourselves with the US market or, of, or with the US society because of the obvious uh, reasons. But in, the, in, in terms of uh, digital lagging, maybe we, we are not far behind maybe 10 years. So what happened in, in 2000, early 2000 here, it was bound to happen in 2010s. And now we are in 2017. So it, rather, you know, there should be, these guys should be, uh, newspaper owners should be really feel lucky that one, the, literacy, uh, uh, the inter internet penetration is not so high, and high speed data is still not there. But uh, I think their biggest worry should be geo. <laughs> now with uh, geo going everywhere, every second, uh, tier two, tier three city, now they are, uh, uh, they, uh, think, uh, you know, they are getting an experience of data, this decline is going to be much faster, uh, uh, just as what happened in uh, US. It, the latest, the last year survey uh, shows that uh, those who were younger than 17 years in US, only 5% of them were reading newspapers. So, and, and this is exactly what's, what's going to be the future uh, in India as well. 
now obvi obviously everything is shifting digital but how how this impacts the business how it impacts the content uh, unfortunately not many people are thinking about it uh, everything is still in the in, in in stuck in the old thing that we are still have to be bound by ads and revenues nobody is thinking beyond this the subscription and ad just as i said that maybe a jeff bezos there is thinking but uh, we also here uh, in india also we need to think what could be that next thing in the news media and uh, this is where i leave you that think about you know uh, be the jeff bezos where uh, employ your uh, uh, powers of uh, I, you know innovation and ideation and think about this that what could be you know because this is for sure that digital is going and, and it's going to just you know just like it uh, impacted the news industry it will impact the uh, sorry the music industry it will impact the news industry but what is that going to be which, which is going to be the itunes of news which is going to be uh, you know uh, this uh, mp3 player of news so with that i leave it i think i have stuck to the time and yeah thank you